In today's video, we are going to take a look at how you can use ChatGPT Code Interpreter to analyze your data, let's say from YouTube, from your website, from other different sources, and look for correlations in high-performing content that you can again use to create new ideas that hopefully will perform as well. So let's just get started. Before we take a look at the Code Interpreter, the prompts, the data sets, I want to show you this free resource from today's sponsor, HubSpot. AI is no longer a thing of the future, it's here, it's already making a huge impact in marketing strategies. But where should you start to learn about it? Don't worry, I got you covered. HubSpot, who is kindly sponsored today's video, is offering a free ebook called AI Trends for Marketers. And trust me, this is the guide to get you up to speed with AI in marketing. The ebook contains over 30 pages packed with superb practical tips on how you can save time, create content, write prompts, do research, all with the help of AI. I've put the link in the description below for you to download totally for free. My favorite section of the ebook is how marketers are getting their time back, where you can find out how much time you could save by using AI tools, and the section about how marketing AI tools are being used today where you can learn from what others are already doing successfully. This ebook was made by HubSpot. A big shout out to them for making this free resource that you can find in the description below. Now let's get back to the video. Before we take a look at the prompt and how we did this in Code Interpreter, I think we're gonna start off with looking at our data sets I have collected. The first set we have is from my website, so we can see we have top queries, we have clicks, impressions, CTR, position, I guess that's position in Google, right? And we have a new uh, data set here, that's basically page views. This is all from the last 28 days. We have the same for YouTube, last 28 days, we have the titles, views, watch time, impressions, CTR. Basically some good data for the code interpreter to use on this. So what I did with this, we created a zip file, put everything into here. But now let's head over to the code interpreter and actually take a look at this, how we are using those data sets. The user will be uploading zip files uh, with data from a website and a YouTube channel. Your task is to analyze the data and follow the user's instructions, okay? Then we want to give some simple assignments. So it's gonna be unzip the zip file, get familiar with the uploaded data sets, analyze all data sets. Since the data sets have correlations, your task now is to look for the best performing data and start to generate content ideas for this business. That could be YouTube videos, blog posts for the website or other ideas. And the last assignment is generate a big list of new ideas on the best performing content from both data sets. Let's think about this in a step by step way and execute the assignments. And then we upload the zip file I just showed you. And then we just let this run. And you can see the zip file has been successfully unzipped, contains these three files. Let's download and have a look at the content. So you can see we have YouTube data. And then we just go give this information. We can start analyzing the data to understand the best forming content and generate new ideas. So this is for the last 28 days. So you can see we have AutoGPT, we have ChatGPT, System Prompt Engineering. And then we're gonna move on to the website. So here we have queries for clicks. So you can see this is on Google for impressions and for click-through rate. So here's basically keywords, right? And that's basically all we did. So based on the best performing content on the YouTube channel and website, here are some new content ideas. I looked over this and we got something that is good. Advanced prompt engineering GPT-4, AI and digital marketing. I think that's more interesting because I haven't done anything on that. If you have content that is popular, you can reuse that, of course. Other ideas, uh, this is nice, but it's not very, it's very generic, if you ask me. But here I went, based on the best performing data, create 10 new out of the box forward thinking ideas. A YouTube series on AI ethics, AI for social good initiative. Mm, interesting. User case studies. Uh, speaking of that, I am actually kind of interested in starting a case study myself. That's gonna be about programmatic SEO, if you know what that means. It's basically creating, I'm gonna show you a bit further down, creating automatic content it's just a case study to see if it actually works but uh, yeah we'll see about that so ai in entertainment i think this was the best one because this, this is very relevant right now so if i was gonna pick something from this list today it had to be that because of all the um, screenwriters strike the actor strike going on in hollywood and stuff i think that's very relevant so this is basically some blog post contest context 
This is the transcript from one of my latest videos on video editing with ChatGPT Code Interpreter. Just uploaded a whole transcript into this text file with some information about Code Interpreter. And I uploaded this here and I wrote, uh, look at the best performing data and brainstorm 10 title ideas. Mastering video editing with ChatGPT Code Interpreter, that's a great one. Uh, a step-by-step -step guide to video editing. I just went, I like number four. Create a summary of the most important notes from the context I uploaded, including the title. And here we get a nice summary. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna copy all of this. And then I'm gonna head over to my Python code. So we're gonna go into, we have two different agents here. So we are gonna use to write our blog post. And we have something here called blog post context. So I'm just gonna, I went ahead, pasted in everything we got back here. And we're gonna give those agents an assignment. Write an 800 word in-depth long detail tech blog post in cooperation with Miss Writer, that's the other agent. Always expand the blog post from Miss Writer 2 and make it longer and more detailed. Here we just have a kind of simple Python script that runs these two agents. So what's gonna happen when I run this now is this is gonna kick off uh, the assignments. We're gonna get a few drafts of the blog post. So I'm just gonna let this run for a while and then we're gonna take a look. Okay, so as you can see here, we have a couple of drafts here. So let's just head up here so you can see it just started straight in writing the blog post. So we can see, yeah, it's quite a lengthy blog post. So you can see the second agent here goes, your blog post provides excellent explanation on how to use for video editing, the code interpreter. I believe we can expand on some points, give reader more in-depth understanding. Let's delve into areas like uh, activating the code interpreter features, step by step process, emerging immense potential of this tool. Okay, so you can see here, it went ahead, improved some things. And yeah, uh, I'm gonna copy this. So you can see I stopped it down here. Okay, so we can just head over to, let's say docs or something. Go here and paste it in. Uh, is this the best content in the world? No, it's not. But it's not bad. As I, I read through a lot of this and of course I'm gonna edit it. I use this a lot for my blog post as an initial draft. And I end up keep a lot of it. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna do a better job of writing than this. Not in the time I had to spend on this. So how many words are this? It's not crazy, it's like 600. So we probably wanted this to run for a bit more while to get some more words, but it's fine. So yeah, that is how I have been using Code Interpreter lately to try to add some more data-driven content to my website and to some of my other YouTube channels and my main channel. And yeah. I think that's pretty much it. Hopefully you learned something for this, something you can maybe take into action yourself. Uh, again, I wanna big, uh, give a big shout out to today's sponsor HubSpot. Great site, check it out in the description below for that free ebook. And yeah, thank you for tuning in. See you again in the next one.